Okay, I'm gonna test something out. But first I wanna explain this just to have it on video. Um, so stand over here. I don't really need to talk about it. I know what it is. Um, I'm thinking about uh, believing things and goals that we have and how they intercede. And I thought of the metaphor of football. So I think in belief there are as soon as you recognize someone else there becomes a third party but when it's an internal belief it's there's two sides and you pick a side so like a football field and we'll say you pick this side of the football field so you're what happens is when you, you when you believe something you're essentially saying this thing This is, this is what is. There's no other thing than this. It's the end zone, it's the goal. You're essentially, they're the same thing, and maybe that'll come around for a better explanation of how and why. So, when you have a goal in mind, it's like a, a real goal that you believe is gonna happen. You're aiming towards it, and you're moving towards it, and you can go down a level. The way to move towards a goal is to go bit by bit. So it seems. I don't really need to... It's like talking to the camera is kind of distracting me, but I feel like it's adding a human element. So maybe it's better. I don't know. you got to travel there slowly to accomplish your goal. To make what... Because what happens is when you believe something, it's not actually that yet. Like, you believe, you pick something, one side of two, and what happens is as soon as you st accept that belief or start believing that thing, you start moving towards it. Your body starts shifting and changing towards it, the behavior of it, whatever it is. And the longer you believe it, the closer you get until you accomplish it. And then once you accomplish it, you've actually only gone this far on another graph towards another goal. And the cycle repeats itself once you accomplish. So the cycle repeats itself in that goal orientating is accomplishing more goals. You got it's great. It's like a, it's like a simple simple way of thinking that the end zone is only just a, a smaller fraction of the next run towards the next goal. So this is what I think about believing something. I was gonna say you can't really do it, but you can. But as soon as that belief is actualized and it's a true, it's true belief, it's no longer a belief, it's just another increment heading towards some other ideal that really you'll never attain. But believing it gives you somewhere to go towards and makes you better and, and more able to access that kind of way, that believable way. So if you believe you're a superhero, if you believe you can jump far, then you can jump far. You can jump farther. And eventually you'll be able to utilize that to accomplish whatever the reason you want to be able to jump far is. Jump across a brook. You never know. It's like, and sometimes, for me personally, I believe things that I don't have like a thing that would help me like jumping. I just noticed like over a puddle I ended up having to jump. And I was like, I'm glad I've trained my like, jumping skills. Focus and pinpoint landing, you know, it's like, Landing is almost like taking off. It's that mentality. Um, that's a little personal anecdote on this idea of setting goals. So it's, it's interesting that a goal, I don't really need to go back into it, but I was thinking that the goal is a, 
a result of action, of course, and little goals like me putting these boxes away and mailing that thing out and taking that to the store, playing that. Those goals give me access towards this goal, which will give me access towards that goal. And this can, can be more than a five yard run. It can be a 17 yard pass. One goal can be another goal. That's a, a literal way of thinking. Literally, you can accomplish a goal that will accomplish several other goals at once with it. Okay. I hope you can see that. Yeah, that's, that's 